This is a reverend with green behind him because green. You know. Wow, folks. Okay. So, Rev Dude here. This is going to be one of... It's not any teaching video. It's just answering stuff because I'm a, like a celebrity. Right? I said yesterday in my in my esoteric and I want to apologize to people that are saying that Jesus Jason you're so discombobulated that you can't even spring you can't string like a coherent thought together that that's not true actually I can but I have a tendency to ramble sometimes because I get excited about things you know teenage mutant ninja turtles like that I might be heavily ADD um, I personally really haven't come to a conclusion on that. I would, I, I, but I am in mental health care now, and I'm going to be hooking up with people down here in, in the southeast uh, PA region. Uh, we have mental health partners and 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 such. But I go on my YouTube again because I got that freedom that I I can use my phone and do what I want now that I'm out of the the clink. I, I have the opportunity to ask folks, what exactly are you thinking? Because here's the deal. I have openly admitted to you that the reason that Shani and I have broken up is due to the fact that I struck and kicked in the, the ribs Zachary. And I wasn't even aware that he had injuries. Okay? This is insane. I had no clue he had injuries. It turns out that this poor boy had injuries. He, he had bru bruised ribs. Now, for me, you have to understand that I. this is good that I'm going through great pain. Because you're not seeing me cry about Shani off air because I don't do that. That Shani was the one to be very outspoken and 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 being like guys, you know, oh and crying and this stuff. Okay. That's not me. You're not gonna get me to do that because that's just not in my character to to mourn or openly cry about a situation. That's just not the way I roll. Now, see, you guys are once again revealed to be to being uh, 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 abusive again, because the fact of the matter is, is that Shannon is what you would call the victim in this situation. She she is the victim, and then you come along again and abusively say, "No, you're not a victim, Zachary." In, in And in essence, you're making Zachary a liar in saying that it did it that it didn't happen. Yeah, you're forcing him to say it didn't happen. I'm telling you that this is the most disgusting and dark shit I've ever seen. Uh, you guys have gone really low. But now this is low, low. I am telling you that I am a horrible sack of shit. And, and, and repentance for me is, is at an absolute must. For every day now, for until the day I hit the grave, because I put my hands on on a, on a young child, not in a sexual way. I want I don't want any innuendo. It's not sexual. It's it's a hundred percent physical harm, like Rain Man says about Charlie Babbitt. They're they're driving in 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 Charlie Babbitt and Rain Man's father's car, going down the street, and Rain Man gets a little out of hand. And Charlie grabs him by the neck in the movie Rain Man, in the car. And, and then Rain Man goes, uh-oh, and he gets his backpack. And Tom Cruise is like, Charlie Babbitt. Charlie Babbitt is, is Tom Cruise in the movie. And Charlie Babbitt's going, what the hell are you doing there with your... Because it's like, you're, yeah, you're, he was recording abuse. Which is, of course, what the people at Walbrook, the, peop, the, the, the place where, where Rain Man was staying was called Walbrook. And of course, they would tell him now. Now, now, Ray, 
if you ever hear Ray, now Raymond, Ray, I want you to really listen to me, okay? If any of the people on the staff or anybody that comes to see you ever, ever puts their hands on you in a bad way, that, that, that is not right. And I want you to go to your notebook and I want you to record that and tell me, okay? The headmaster of that building would definitely say that. I want you to go report that. And then someone will come back to me and the person that abused you will be reprimanded, okay? This is the truth. This is how it would be handled in real life too. If it, that boy's autistic, he's, he's gifted in every way you could imagine. He's very smart in his own way, but, but he does have uh, 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 behavioral issues because of the autism. Now me as an asshole that didn't understand autism came in as a father being, you're gonna be a man and, and try, you know, cause I had told Zachary 25 to 30 times and that's not an exaggeration because I didn't want that boy being kicked out of school. And if, if they got wind of that, that, that he was on the computer all the time, he could, he could get kicked out of his virtual school. So I was trying to be the father saying, look, son, you can't do this. And he kept, he, he just, uh, when I was in the household, he just didn't listen to me, Zachary, ever. Because he, I'm sure he sees things, oh, what's a stepdad? Oh, it's the dad that you can step on. Wow, I just realized that. The stepdad. It's the dad you step on. And that was the case. But I took it that way and it was not true. Because in my psychosis, like I have bouts with psychosis from time to time because of the schizoaffective. I could be pushed so far into a, oh my God, state of stress that, that I become what you would, would, would coin or call psychotic. Like, and you're, you're coming, here's the bottom line. You're coming at Shannon. Again, I have to, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to protect Shannon here because that's my role as, 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 as what I believe to be her husband. And, and right now it's separation. Because as far as I'm concerned, Shannon has not said we're done, done because uh, we've talked on the phone a few times and, and, and it's cool. It's like, it's like we're, we're, we're very civil and it's, it's like you just need to get your shit together, Jay, and make sure you're medicated and we'll see what happens. And you're saying to her, she's the bad one for taking Zachary out of a situation that was, that, that, that could have led to long-term abuse. Long-term abuse. Oh, I'll get away with it. I'll get, just keep hitting the kid. That's not right. So again, you're again wrong because I'm the guy that you're standing up for and I'm telling you you're wrong for standing up for me. So who are you standing up against Shani for her abuse of her kid for taking me away that's an abusive guy? She's protecting her son from, uh, from an abusive fucking asshole when he's not medicated. You pay, this is why nobody can take you seriously. And, and, and the dragoons, all of you, they, they don't take you seriously because you can't be taken seriously. You just can't be taken seriously because you're willing to, for the sake of making Shani for Christ look bad for your own weird, fucking bizarre obsession with her, you're going to demonize her child and make her child a, a bad guy for telling the truth about his father, which it takes bravery. He could be scared shitless, nothing's happening, and then dad is gonna freak out tonight and beat me up even worse. That he thought, he, I'm sure he thought that. I, 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 I gave him injuries that he had to go to an ER. And you're defending me. You are an absolute sack of shit. Do you, you're the same people that defended Johnny Depp. Guaranteed you are because this Satanist shit is, they love abusing kids, Satanists. Me, I hate it, but I felt like I was being like a tough, good dad, Christian dad. If you spare the rod, then you spoil the child. No, that's a Bible verse that's misused to abuse children physically and mentally. It means don't let your kid run amok. Right, and that's what I was trying to do. But Zachary's autistic. I said to the guys in jail, 
So I guess that means you just coddle an autistic kid and they get away with everything. And they say, absolutely not. You're wrong, dude. But the way you handled it, you can't do that. You can't just say, you can't just say, my son is bold. And this was a white guy that was supporting me. This is the big secret in prisons. And this ties in with Freemasonry because Albert Pike uh, wrote about the third, three world wars. This is a big deal, okay? This ties right in my personal experience with Jesus Christ in the prison and everything. Vape, and I got this cheap at the dollar store with some of the money in the, I, I don't know if it's gonna fit my thing, we're gonna see. That's that's a baby carrot. Look at that, do, 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 baby carrots. Now that's the size of a baby carrot. You eat it right. Not my penis is bigger than my penis looks like V's penis. Like really, it does. In Cyberpunk, the the digital model of his penis, it looks like me flaccid. Uh vaporizer tobacco because the cigarettes are very rare. I get one from somebody because I'm not going to spend people's money that they give me on uh, walking down the street here with my sign in the window. You know, uh, homeless, uh, could you spare a few? I don't work for food, blah. It's, it's, I got a cardboard piece. And, 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 and I haven't had a job offer yet. That's crazy, right? But I'm trying to get employment at the Valero, and I think they'll pass me, maybe. I will see the background now because I have the DV. I don't know, man, the background checks. And then I got this for emergencies. It's really handy. That's going here. Okay, so. We need to talk. Esoteric, esoteric uh, Freemasonry. Speculative. That's another way. They call it speculative. Speculative Freemasonry. Okay? So we have to talk about this because it's a big deal. This, this all ties in with, with what I see in the prison. I'm going to tell you 100%. This is a testimony from a guy that's just been out of jail. That they are causing systematic racism in this country by way via via by way of the prison system they they're inducing they're inducing racism into the culture i am telling you that i saw fewer than 20 definitely fewer than 20 white males it's not mixed prison in LCP, Lackawanna County prisons, not mixed. I don't know if any prison's mixed and crazy like that, you know, where everybody's thrown. I don't think so. Uh, uh, I, I, I'm pretty sure in Europe they have much uh, more humane system, and but they but they commingle and they have like uh, communal, communal showers, showers with, with guys and women, stuff like that. That's very liberal, you know. Like, like uh, going back to Rome in the days of Rome and, and they got the, uh, the college... Uh, communal baths you know I say all that because I see in the prison Albert Pike's now Albert Pike is the author of morals and dogma he's an esoteric man in general uh, and and pretty pretty gray I believe in his thinking so not good not evil like what writing that the the that that narrow thing and doing shadow work that some evil evil stuff some good stuff some evil stuff I, that that's where I think Pike was at because he understood the value of uh, uh, subversive tactics but I'm moving on that's not what this is about I just threw that in there because it all ties in with everything okay the prisons are are, are are segregated by race and everybody's hating each other and and they're and and they 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 are definitely incarcerating in large numbers African Americans and and Hispanics and 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 everything the white man is is it's very very small numbers so like that's another reason for me to to support communism uh the 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 the, the uh the Marxian vision, which is global, and 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 no religion too. You know, we don't. We're not going to get religion mingled in with finance and government, which I agree with. I, I I'm a Christian, but I'm I'm for the government of Jesus Christ. Everybody says they're Christian, and then they're okay with their religion getting into the government, which is not American. I have to move on because this is very important thing. What I see is the trolls taking Shani and making her bad. And that's absolutely insane for you to take this stance. 
It's insane. You are enabling a, 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 an abusive father, which I was. And I want to work on myself in therapy with, with whoever I'm going to see here or where I'm at uh, for my issues. You're, I, I'm pissed at you for enabling me. Because I see what I did was so horrible. Like, I feel almost death. I like almost death because I took it too far. You can discipline your kids, but I took it too far. And I'm saying that as the, the, the party at hand. Do I want to go to jail for three years or two years or one year? Because that's it goes like one of three years for that this type of offense. Of course not. But it, there's no double jeopardy. I won't go again for this particular instance. But if it ha if it happened again, we get back together. Me and Jannie get back together by a miracle at this point because you really don't like me. I mean, for good reason. Because now you're going to make it worse and keeping us separated. You're affecting me negatively, trying to because I want to get back with her. You're, you're 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 impacting me negatively because it's even more in her mind that I did that. Because you're shoving it in her face that she should be supporting me. For anybody with common sense that understands what happened, and it happened. I'll say it again. I did strike him and I did. I don't remember kicking him, but I'm sure I did because his ribs were bruised and I didn't punch his ribs. So what happened? It happened. I trust Zachary. Zachary didn't lie. 